this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Hartlob and Tersek that was played in Hamburg in 1916. White started with e4, e6, d4, d5, queen e5, French defense, e5, advanced variation of French defense, c5, f4, knight to c6, knight to f3, queen to b6, pressure is on the pawn on d4, it is white to move, c3 comes to mind, instead white played a3, c takes on d4 and black is a pawn up, bishop to d3, knight from g to e7, g4, and black played h5, Knight to g6 was surely considered, but perhaps black didn't like h4 coming. So we have h5. Pawn takes pawn. Rook takes on h5. Knight to g5 and black played g6. It is white to move. How should white continue? Perhaps h4 comes to mind. But white was much, much more ambitious and sacrificed the knight on f7. Would you do the same? Well, this is the move I played in the game. King takes knight. No, bishop takes on g6. This is a very important part of the game. How should black recapture? With king or with knight. Have a good look. It will make a big difference. If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for black in this position. Ready? King takes on g6. Was played in the game. Wrong choice. Better was knight takes on g6 and after queen takes on h5 queen to c5 and black is okay black is threatening queen takes on c2 if for example rook to g1 queen takes on c2 defending the knight in the game we have King takes on g6. Check. King to h7. Queen takes rook. Check. Bishop to h6. f5. And black resigned in view of this continuation. Knight to g8 defending the bishop. Then check. And queen takes on g8. Check mate. So that knight sacrifice was not sound one, but it worked because black didn't find the best move in critical position. Interesting, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.